my biggest and most people's biggest downfall and the one thing that is holding them back self-doubt and insecurity i've been struggling with this since the age of 12 and guess what after nine years i'm 21 currently i'm still struggling with this in the cur current world we live in we desire that feeling of being wanted and being accepted by others but this isn't the correct vision to have and the correct mindset for the reason being we will we will never be able to please everyone we will never be able to help everyone as much as we would like to do so there will be something someone will be able to see wrong see that is not quite where it should be but where i struggle when what i struggle with mostly is my own doubts own insecurities and my own self-image remember no one knows you as good as you do yourself so you see yourself every day you spend the most amount of time with yourself I mean, this is your body, this is your life, this is your own situation. And no one will ever know your true story other than you. And uh, that is the reality of the matter. You can get into your own head so much. How do I know, know that? Because I've been on that end of the spectrum. I've nitpicked every single piece of myself every objective thing you can think of my looks my appearance my personality everything i do i've nitpicked and i've found everything i don't like about myself it's only recently where i've started to get better with this how did i do that is i started to focus on myself more you see, it can be difficult to shut down and turn off the outside noise and the outside opinions on your life, but I would encourage you to do so. Now, I don't say don't take criteria. I mean, a lot of people have positive feedback and positive things they say that you can improve on in your life. But there are also other people that will always doubt you, always question what you do, and some people will outright never support your decisions in life. And that is okay, because everyone has pers different op personal opinions and different visions and everything on life. That is because everyone is unique and everyone has gone through certain situations and different parts and paths of life. So, I want to encourage you today to try and see the good in yourself. Go back, and this is what has helped me. Go back and look actually how far you have come. I'm pretty sure most of us have something we work for ourselves and something we do just to make ourselves feel happy. That for me is training and making progress and trying to adapt and progress every single day towards a certain goal. And I always get so fixated on what's next, what should I improve on, what should I do better and better and what can I, what have I done wrong. But it is so important to look back and actually see how far you have come. Look at every single small achievement you have made, every single small stepping stone towards your ultimate goal and towards your ultimate level of achievement that you have in your mind and that dream. It is important to celebrate the small ones, the small steps, the small achievements. Because if you're so fixated on the future, you can also nitpick 
throughout yourself every single thing you dislike and everything you know isn't correct yet to reach that goal so it is very good to do self-reflection but just be careful that that self-reflection doesn't turn into self-doubt just remember as you're sitting there as you're listening to what i'm saying just remember you are good enough you are on this planet for a reason you are special you are strong in your own way and only some people will see your true value and your true potential and the people that see that keep them close to you and the people that have criteria towards your life work towards proving them wrong just remember you yourself are capable of achieving great things so turn off the outside noise turn off every doubt any doubt you have and just focus towards what you want what you want to achieve in life celebrate the small little things and i promise you that will go a long way